who is Rashmi? Interesting question because a lot of people ask me that question. And I finally came up one day at night while I was cooking, I was like, this is who I am. I have a soul of a Mexican grandmother, a heart of an Italian mother, and even though I'm Indian and I have aspirations of a French chef. So at the end of the day, who am I? Just a person who loves food and who would do travel any amounts for food. So that's me in a nutshell. What is Primlani Kitchen and Spicy Chat? I'm gonna put them together and basically Spicy Chat came from the inspiration that I saw a lot of people like spices or are intimidated by spices, but they don't know how to play with it or cook with it. So I decided that I'm gonna create a chat on Twitter, which basically educates, encourages, and inspires people how to use seasonings. So I work with different clients who who have spices, who have even baking. You can incorporate spices in anything you like. So from an appetizer to dessert, I incorporate spices in everything. So that was showing the world, it's not about being hot, it's about being flavorful. And you just need the right amount of flavor in your food to make it extra delicious. That's where this chat came from. Do I consider myself a chef? That's a tough question because at the end of the day, I'm a purist, which means that since I haven't been to culinary school, I may consider myself not a chef. Can I create recipes from one ingredient? Can I run a kitchen? Absolutely, I can do that fabulously. But I do pay homage to people who've been to culinary school. And for me, a chef is somebody who runs a kitchen. I do not have the experience of a commercial kitchen where I've worked grueling hours standing on my feet. So yes, I'm an exceptional cook and I create fabulously, but I'm not a chef. That's just my personal humble two notes. What inspires me when I create a recipe? Actually life, it's as simple as that. I wake up in the morning, it's raining. Oh, I wanna eat something warm. So what can I do? And the kids, the kids are coming back from school. What can I create? Beignets, five minutes. Bake, make the dough overnight and the beignets are ready for a snack for them. If I go to the grocery store, Whatever is seasonal, if it's fresh jalapeno, or I saw fresh halibut on the menu, that's what dinner is gonna be. So you can create a recipe, I create a recipe from a mood, an ingredient, or just because I'm sad, or if I'm angry, oh, then I create fabulously, because when I'm angry, then I really get my creative juices running, and I wanna put all my focus in that dish, and a lot of love. That's the main ingredient. What is my favorite ingredient and why? That's simple, that's herbs, fresh herbs. I, I simply adore, if you could grow your own garden, I mean, I have a black thumb, don't tell anybody, but I do have a black thumb, and my 11-year-old daughter is the one who maintains my garden, and I have all the herbs you can think of. I just think herbs take your dish to a new level. It is so simple, it's an ascension tool. A culinary herb is an essential tool where you can tantalize your diner without even the first bite. The aromas are fabulous, and. Don't you go to a restaurant where a lot of times you're like, oh, what's that dish? What's that smell? I, I really like it. What is that exotic? It could be lemongrass. It could be something as simple as basil turned into something unique and you would love it. So that is one of my favorite ingredients to work with. Who is my favorite Orlando chef and why? You are asking tough questions, lady. <laughs> um, honestly, at the end of the day, speaking just culinary skill wise, I absolutely adore Chef Kathleen Blake. Especially as a woman, I am in awe for intertextual palettes or flavors and the unique thing. And she puts a lot of healthy stuff on the menu and it, she makes them look and taste delicious. That said, my favorite chef, which everybody probably knows by now, now is Chef Kevin Ponzo of K Restaurant. His culinary skills, his kindness, generosity. OJ, I'm sure you know about his, uh, he gives back to the community by teaching the little kids I was a judge at one of them and I was I was in tears simply because the way he teaches them, he himself is not a parent, but he does such a wonderful job with those kids. And the amount he gives back to the community. I don't know any other chef in town who works so hard as him and always with a wonderful, humble smile. So I just, there are many million reasons I love that man. What are my future plans? I think I'm taking a short sabbatical from food right now. This is a short-term goal. I am obsessed with wine right now. It's kind of a food extension of food if you think about it. So I'm furiously dedicating myself. I did level one sommelier and I'm working on level two right now. 
which involves a lot of studies, a lot of tastings. So it's a cool job, but I need to get there. So for right now, this year at least, I'm focusing on wine primarily.